the best at being able to, because not everybody can say something negative about a team, but you, there's a way to say something negative about right. a team. Instead of saying this guy's a bum, which a lot of people around there and where I, a lot of people like to do that, you could say, you know what, I bet you he's aware of his situation. Or I bet you he would like to do better. And look what he's done in the past. He's not living up to what he should be doing. There's a way to say it. You make it so easy and you get the same thing across. And it's, it's, it, it's, it's a hard thing to do. I work with people even today. I feel that a dagger is needed as opposed to just getting the point across. It's, it's, it's an art. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to make it personal. Um, listen, I've covered a lot of great players in this town. Right. And mm -hmm. I remember two guys in particular, and there have been a lot of them that way, um, but two guys in particular, uh, it was, I don't know, 77, I think it was. I'm not sure of the year, 78, whatever it was. And Bradshaw threw five interceptions in a game in Baltimore when they were still the Colts. And naturally they lost, and he was awful. And the next morning, what are you supposed to say? Right. Five picks. You can't bow tie that. Anymore. Right. You know, hey, um, at that point he already won two Super Bowls. But right. right. So the next day, um, Chuck had them off on um, – Mondays, not Tuesdays like it is now. Mm -hmm. And so the next available day, I was in the locker room. And that's one of the things, frankly, that modern guys don't do. They sit in the studio and right. they never leave it. Uh -huh. And facing the music is at least, uh, that's part of the gig. If you're willing yeah. to say it, you better be willing to answer for it. Correct. So I'm in the Steeler locker room at Three Rivers. And here comes 12. And he comes up to me. And I had a really good relationship with him. And he said, I heard what you said this morning, and I go, oh, to myself, here it comes. He said, you were right. He said, I stunk. And he said, you've always been fair. As long as you're fair, I have no problems. And Rocky Blyer said that to me once, too. Um, and so, I mean, those are the adults in the room. You're watching A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. We'll be right back. A Day in the Life is brought to you by UPMZ, life-changing medicine. Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You've tried the rest, now try the best. 